It is going to remain breezy into tonight and again tomorrow, but at least more humidity will be moving in on these easterly winds. Still, drought indices are very high for the entire southern half of the state, and I was talking with some of my organic farming friends, and we are concerned for how this bodes for this brush fire season. We already have less than half the rain we should have gotten for the beginning of this year alone. Uh, the effects or what is affecting our weather this time around today is high pressure off the mid-Atlantic states here. It's going to get closer and intensify, and that's what's helping to bring in these breezy conditions. Also, the chance of some isolated showers on that riding that Atlantic moisture, again, on those easterly winds, but really not even including them in the forecast. A stray, you know, uh, raindrop not out of the question. For 11 p.m. tonight, 65 degrees, wind slackening just a bit, but still gusty out of the east-northeast by tomorrow morning, 60 degrees, so a milder start, mostly sunny, winds out of the east-northeast at 10, and by 5 p.m. tomorrow, lower 80s after we had highs in the mid-80s, strong breezes again, more clouds entering the picture again as that moisture rides on that easterly wind. So we take a look at temperatures right now, very pleasant besides the breezy conditions, uh, looking at temperatures in the low and mid-70s across southwest Florida, visible satellite just showing us again that those clouds, that moisture moving in off of the Atlantic and that's what uh, remains to be influencing our weather. Storm Patrol forecasts expecting mostly clear conditions overnight by 8 a.m., mostly sunny by noon, a few more clouds entering into the picture along with a chance of the sprinkles into the afternoon hours. Boaters, uh, water temperature at 71 degrees, small craft advisory in effect with winds out of the east at 20 knots tomorrow, seas three to five feet, bay and river waters choppy. Our days are getting longer, though, as we head into that time change for this weekend. And here's your fishing forecast. Thanks to Captain Danny and Boat Grand. He says the redfish are everywhere, and he's having no problem finding nice limit trout. Sardines and pinfish are the go-to baits. And here's a look at the next seven days around southwest Florida, just to show you that the warm weather continues. It's going to increase in humidity, wind slackening by the end of the week, and just a chance for showers on into the weekend and to start out your next work week.